Hi everyone. Hi. Welcome back to Mocha Yarns. We're here in the new year and I know you can see these gorgeous little Easter um, knitted items and we'll explain those in a minute. So, so before we get started with our really cute project, Janet's going to demonstrate increasing and decreasing. So before she can do that, she has to cast on some stitches. Um, for those of you that are just watching this and haven't watched our other videos, go back to the one that says casting on to learn how to do cast on. So how many are you going to cast on, Janet? I'm just going to cast two on. Okay. So you've, you've tied your yarn round, yarn in, yarn around, pull it through and slip it back on the needle. Mm -hmm. So I've got two stitches on. Mm -hmm. Now from here I'm going to increase. So I'm going to put my yarn through the stitch, wrap it around and very similar to casting on, I'm just going to push it into the back of the stitch and do it again. So I pull those off and instead of one stitch I have two. Hey, that's what it's called. Around. Around. Just pull your needle to the back and go in again. Yeah. And so right away it's showing a little, it's showing a little peak there. Can you guys see that? And so I'm just going to knit the other row because the way I've increased, I just do it on every other row. So again, you increase by going into the stitch, yarn around, pulling it through but not taking the stitch mm -hmm. off, going into the back of the stitch and knitting the stitch again, pulling it off. Knit knit. I'm just doing the first and the last one in each row, on the, every alternate row, sorry. And again, so if you can see, it's coming into a little, I'll do one more, I'll just knit one more row. So are you increasing on just the one side? Just the one side. Okay. Just the one side. So one side will be, if you were to do this for quite some time, one side would be straight and one side would have... But, yeah, and you do it whatever your pattern tells you to exactly. do. Exactly. So again, increase, you put your needle in, wrap it around like a normal knit stitch, pull it there, push it behind and wrap it around again. Take them off. Knit to the end. Sorry, I'm banging the needles on the table trying to play your drums at the same time. So in it goes, wrap it around, pull it through and back through. So you can see it's forming like a triangle. Like a triangle. And you could honestly start like this and keep going and eventually you would have a shawl triangle. Yeah. If you if you had a big enough needle or if it was on a circular needle and you kept doing this like till it got the big triangle the size you wanted you could literally make a shawl absolutely with this this uh, method now I'll show you decreasing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay this is one I just did earlier and this one's in stocking stitch the other one I did was every row knit this is in stocking stitch so one row knit one row purl so this is I got I got to you can you can see the triangle shape by just increasing on every alternate row. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start decreasing now and I'm just showing you the very simple ways there's many different ways. So you go through two stitches together, knit them together, pull it off the needle right to the end. Yeah. Excuse the little baby booster seat in the back. That's Indy's little chair. <laughs> I'm gonna come around your shoulder over here. And then I'm coming up to the last two stitches. Again, just knit them together so the needle goes through both. Knit, pull off. Then I purl another, I'll just purl back this row and do one more row and you'll be able to see the shape of the decreasing. So I'm purling a row now, this is a purl row. 
You guys should be pretty pros at all these stitches now. Knit so and again, the decreasing, you can see it's starting to come there. I want to lay it on the table so you can see. There. You can see it's starting to come as a decrease. I'll do one more decreasing line. Then you've got the gist of it. So through the first two stitches, the needle goes through. You do a regular knit stitch, pull them off together. Knit to the last two stitches. So then the last two stitches, knit them together, and there you go. And if I put this down, you can start to see where it's decreasing. Mm -hmm. Now this could end up as a square or it could end up as a whatever you want it to do. But this is just a way to show you how to increase and decrease in the simplest way I can. Mm -hmm. And it's a great way. Yeah, it is. And there's um, oftentimes you'll be thinking, why on earth would I need to know this? Because there are patterns that you make and you, you knit straight or stocking stitch straight. And then all of a sudden they say, we want you to make a raglan sleeve for a sweater. So then you'll have to start decreasing on whatever row they tell you to. And it makes a beautiful raglan line. And that's how you can pretty much everything we've taught you now, you could literally pick up a basic cardigan or pullover pattern and knit a sweater. You should you have all the tools and all of the instructions. And and what I would what I would suggest if you really want to practice your increasing and decreasing and keep it simple, buy some dishcloth cotton. Mm -hmm. And you can make squares. You can make squares yeah. and just make yourself dishcloth say. Exactly. And you know, sometimes it's just good to repeat, repeat, repeat until you really get the hang of it. And I know one of our subscribers was talking about she was creating something and she had to pull it out and pull it out and pull it out. And I answered her, I said, you know, both Janet and I still have to pull stuff out. Like nothing, you, not everybody is perfect. Sometimes you're distracted and you're doing something and you you look at it and you're like mm -mm, I did something wrong so you have to pull all the way oh, back I just said to you about that sweater I must have knit 50 times exactly and I'm making a shawl right now and I was busy watching the Oscars while I was knitting and I looked at it and I'm like this is so wrong I had to rip it all out that's just part of knitting take joy in the process yeah. and then when you get um, an end a result something you've created it just means that much more so don't worry if you're having to pull stuff out so I showed you at the beginning of the video the cutest spring and Easter animals for Easter hunts Easter baskets whatever the beauty of these things is they are hiding a treat. Can you see that little bag of candies there? Or that's another little bag. Look at this little birdie. Um, there's your Cadbury's cream eggs can go in. Yeah, here's one there inside of this beautiful blue turquoise bunny. And the beauty of these, Janet came up with this idea, is um, instead of hiding those plastic eggs, you can hide these for the kids and they are um, reusable and you're not doing filling the earth with you're not leaving a plastic footprint these can be if they if you put them outside and they get a little dirty you wash them off and save them for next year put them in the ziploc bag and i must say my granddaughter who is seven is absolutely look looking forward to an easter egg hunt with these look at how cute these are so today Janet is busy casting on how many stitches? 20 stitches. Okay, so she's casting on 20 stitches. The pat she's making the bird, this guy. Okay? And the pattern for this will be on Mocha Yarns under the go to our mochayarns.com and click under the free patterns and we will have a pattern for how to make these birds. And we're going to show you it as step by step yes, as we so can. You can. So you can make these yourself. And now Janet, if someone wanted to make the bunnies. I, I'll get the pattern for the bunny done. Okay, and uh, there's- They're very similar. 
Yeah, you can see I'm taking the candy out, but you can see without the ears, it's just that the bird has a bit more angular face. And it has, they, they, it has a tail. And a pointed tail, and this one has a little now, fuzzy pop-up. The sheep, the sheep, the butterflies, and the bees are a little harder. Yes, but these ones, this is enough to get you started. A little bird and a bunny, and look at this duck. Is this duck the same as the bird pattern? So you just made the beak knit Yeah, I did. You know what? Oh. I, my strength is not sewing thick. You know I, I'm not a finisher offer. So did you knit this little beak I with did. about I, one I, stitch? I did. I think it was uh, it was two stitches. Two stitches. No, or four stitches and then you de line. And you decreased it to, down to no, one. No, I don't think I did decrease it. I think oh, I just okay. stitched it sewed it, it in that way. And yeah. two, I, look at that I duck. really am not a finisher offer. But look at this. That little ducky, and then this little birdie. Can you imagine having like about 20 of these hidden around your house? And then Janet will get the pattern for the bunny and put your treats in them. I think they're absolutely adorable. I think you guys can do these. And also, if you just are giving a little gift to someone or a child or an adult, who wouldn't want this? Or you can have it as a table. You can have it on your table as a party yes, favor. Yes, as your place setting things. Yeah, yeah. A favor. So adorable, so cute, and so uh, good for the environment. And hopefully, if we have time, Janet, you can show them the pom pom on the fork. Yeah, we can okay. do. We can do the pom pom on the. Okay, on the fork. on. It's so easy to do. Uh, but on the end of the little bunny. So mm -hmm. you guys can go ahead and whip these up because Easter isn't till, what is it, April? 20th around. Yeah, so it's a, it's late Easter. It's the end of April. So you have time to whip tons of these up if you wanted to. It'd be so much fun. Okay, so she's, have you got your? Yeah, okay. I've got 20 stitches. Okay, on. hold on. Let me get over to her. Put these buddies back. I love them. I want them all like this. I want to just take the basket, but I'm going to have to do the work and make my own. <laughs> cast on. So we cast on 20 stitches. So we've got 20 stitches on this needle. So what happens now is we work four rows in knit. So here's the first row. So just a regular Just a stitch. regular stitch. A knit all the way across four rows in knit. These birds are all done in garter stitch. Yeah. Every row is knit to keep it simple. If um, you if you want to change it up, do it in stocking stitch, but uh, knit is and easy. And there's no need. Like, they're no. just as, as cute. Um, Janet is using a 4.5 millimeter needle yeah. with worsted weight yarn. So you, sale and, yarn that you can pick up at Walmart or Target or um, oh, Michaels, you can, anywhere. Oh, you can use double knit. So there's one row. So we're going to do four rows in, in just plain knit. So there's our four rows. So the next row, we're going to increase one stitch at the beginning and the end of each row until we have 32 stitches. So we're going to increase. So into the first stitch, around back into the first stitch so I have two stitches from that I knit to the end and I do the same in the last stitch and I do that until we have 32 stitches on the needle so knit to the end A little bit boring to watch but these I can't demonstrate no, any is, other way it isn't because it's learning so we come into the last stitch into the stitch around back in and there's an extra stitch I go on to the next row same thing again so just to um, go over it again you did not do a plain row of knitting between the two I did four rows and I went straight into the the fifth row is a deep is increase. an increase and so is the sixth row 
right until we have 32 stitches. Okay, because when we were demonstrating the increasing, we did a straight row of knitting in between. Yeah. You don't no, do that. No, this yet. is each and every row. Every row. Okay. We were having a different um, shape. shape. So for so, this, you're going to increase again so at coming. each row, each end of each row until there are 32 stitches. So there's two rows. There you go. So she's going to keep going like that until there are 32 stitches on the needle, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I've increased each row until I have 32 stitches. So I have 32 stitches on my needle now. You can see, if I put it down there, you can see the shape of it. And what happens now is I'm going to knit two rows. No increasing or anything, just knit two rows. So what part of the bird are we making right now? Like at the bottom? Is this that is, the bird's this, head? This is, no, this is the wings. No, I mean the bottom, this. Is it where it stands, where the egg will, where the oh, candles go. Oh, down here. Yeah. Okay, just so you guys have a reference point. Well, that is where she started, starting here and knitting up this way. Yeah. So this is probably where the 32 sort of went. The, the longest. Where the, yeah. Bum is? Where his tail is. His her tail. tail. Her tail. Let's not have any men in this. That's Let's right. just have her. Yeah. She's so cute. So this is one row just finishing up. Mm -hmm. And while Janet is knitting these, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to our channel. Please go visit mochayarns.com. We aren't, honestly, we haven't got all our yarn loaded up in there. There's so much more. We bought a beautiful cotton and we purchased a beautiful acrylic. So these are all going to be loaded up within the next week or two onto the page. And we also have some beginner kits which we will come on and show you the video of them first. They will include needles, yarn and a pattern, correct? And yeah, probably and something some of the else. little <laughs> some little gift of some sort. But they're really, really cute and great for beginner knitters. Okay? Oh, if you want to give a gift to any yes. child starting, mm -hmm. it's just going to be it's just going to be perfect. It just makes it easier. You don't have to go out and what needle should I buy? What kind of wool goes with this needle? It's just a basic beginner kit. So here we come to the end of knit two rows after the 32 stitches. Mm -hmm. So it just gives us a little bit more body at the at the end there. Mm -hmm. Now the next row, well the next two rows, we're going to cast off nine stitches at the beginning of the next two rows. So, so you are casting off just like if you were finished this project, we showed casting off in an earlier video. If you want to see a slower um, demonstration, go to the casting off video. So Janet is knit two, and then you take one and, and you pull it over. That's so how many one. did you say? Nine. Nine. Okay. Two. On both ends? Yeah. All right. So that means once Three. she gets to the end of the nine, she'll just knit straight Four. across and then cast off. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I just knit to the end. And then she'll turn. Uh, yeah, I just like I'll start the next row and cast so, nine off again. And that's how you do it on both sides. Yeah. You see how Janet turned it? I just turned around so to she's start. Got this cast off, cast off there. there. And she's about to do the same thing here, casting off nine, nine stitches. stitches. So that's nine stitches at that side. So I'm just going to knit again to the end. So I've cast off nine on the on two rows at the beginning of the row. Then this what's left will actually form the head of the chicken or bird or whatever you want to call it so you see we've got I believe it should be 14 stitches two left four, over yeah. six yeah all so that, you see how it looks like kind of a crazy and then this is this is the next easy part you just knit 12 rows on these stitches that are left so you knit 12 rows 
So you're building up the head. So 12 rows in knit. Okay. Easy. Okay, so here's our 12 rows done. So where we cast off, we knit 12 rows on those stitches that were left. The next row is a little trickier, but <laughs> very easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to knit two together across the row. Mm. So we're going to go in two stitches together and knit. Two stitches together and knit. So for each two stitches we're coming off with one stitch. Mm -hmm. Knit two together and there we go. Two stitches, wrap it round, just a knit stitch and you just pull it, pull it off. So then we need to just knit one row. So now we've got two, four, six, seven stitches left. So we're going to just knit one row and then just cut the yarn now, I love this way to finish. Me too. Take a needle, and this is Monica's needle. Monica's needle is way better than my needle. I just love this needle because it's got a big eye and I don't have to take my glasses off to <laughs> And So what happens here, you've got your seven stitches on the knitting needle. You take your yarn on the needle which is threaded through this needle and you just go into each stitch. I love doing this into each stitch make sure you get the into the stitch on the needle and then you just pull it tight pull it tight and you stitch it up there you go and there's your birdie there's your birdie now you can either you can either do your stitching all the way around here to the bottom and have and have somewhere to put the candy in the bottom or I think we've got somewhere you can put the candy the in the top. top yeah let me see if I can find one while you're um sewing that up I think there's a pink one here right there yeah or you can you can just not sew you can not sew across the top leave that open it looks like more like a swan yes if it was in white kind of a project for a beginner is something you can do and, and get some sense of a reward and completion and satisfaction that you made this. And what a fun thing for if you have kids or grandkids or friends or whatever, or you work in an office and they think you can't knit and you come in with these little puppies for Easter, how sweet. Oh, uh, imagine, imagine if you were a teacher and put one of these on everybody's desk. Oh my. <laughs> so that's it snip it off there's your chick put your face on there you go just embroider a little face like this you can make them a duck you can make them a bird and remember what janet said if you make a duck you just stitch knit four stitches for about three rows and cast it off and there's the duck bill and just a little bit of you can use like a um what are those knots called? A French knot? Yeah, French if you knot. Want, or just stitch a few However lines you of want. black yarn across. You can make it. You Thank can... you so much for sharing this pattern with everyone. Could you demonstrate how to make the pom pom for the bunny? I sure can. And remember, Janet's going to uh, put the pattern on as well, right? Yeah. Onto the bunny pattern onto the website. Once you do a couple of chickies, you'll be able to do anything. Okay, I don't have white yarn. I needed something a little bit thinner. So this is a bit thin. And here's a fork. And most of you know how to make pom-poms. Mm -hmm. I found this way to make pom-poms for a smaller pom-pom way easier. It is than and using most your of you, hands. Most of you will know how to do this. You just start it on the fork, wrap it round and round and round and round and round and round as many times as you want make it as thick as you want or as thin as you want let's just do a nice little pom-pom here there we go and the fork is just replacing your fingers or cardboard or whatever else you use to make your pom-poms yeah it just makes it so much easier so then i i, I actually don't i actually just take a a different oh me too and tie it around the, yeah the bunch yeah and so you thread that you thread that through the fork so I'll put this down 
then you've got that through the bottom of your... Can you see how she stuck? She wound it round and round and round. Then she stuck the yarn through the, the tines and came up through the top tines and then just tie it. And I've, my tails are just sticking out still. Because yeah. you can You'll use them. them later. Well, you can, I use them to attach. I was going to say, yeah. yeah. Do you do? Yeah, sometimes I do. So you can just tie it like this. You can put it through. You can put, put it back through the fork if you want. I'm just showing you this quickly. I might, if I was doing it, I, I might put it back through and wind it round mm -hmm, again. Mm -hmm. Then you just pull it all off. Thing. So you got you've got like a loops. shape like that. It's a bunch of loops, and then you just those aren't the sharpest. Sorry, <laughs> you give it a haircut. Um, so then you've got it like that. It looks like a bale of hay, uh -huh. and so you can either use your other ends and just. I didn't get it as tight as I would have liked. So I'm just going to tie it a little tighter now. As tight as I can. There we go. You puff it all out and then you give it a trim. Give it a trim around. Fluff it about. Play around with it. Yeah, and there you have a your pom pom. pom, -pom and that way you can get smaller ones. This isn't the best pom pom I've ever made. Our world. We don't care what color your pom pom no. is. No. Cute, hey? And then you can make those for anything. You can put them on hair barrettes. Yeah, you can put because they're tiny. Put them on put them on anything. Cute. Thanks, Janet. And thanks so much for sharing your pattern of how to make the cutest spring well, and Easter stuff. There are there are a few patterns out there and I decided it was too complicated mm -hmm. for anyone who was a beginner. So I took it back, I stripped them right back and started again from scratch. They're just adorable. And I hope you guys give these a try and have fun with them. And now that you have the increasing and decreasing, and decreasing is not the same as casting off, increasing is not the same as casting on, okay? So now that you know decreasing and increasing, you're pretty much... Um, able to go ahead and follow a pattern like, and please please if you make any send us yes send us pictures please 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 we would love to see them and also if you have any problems or questions don't get frustrated just put them in the comment section and we will definitely help you out so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye, bye for now, now. bye <laughs>